slime review for Nicole Jacqueline Slime Shop. I ordered three slimes, an ice cube mochi, and a do-it-yourself slime kit. The slime kit will not be shown in this video. I did receive an activator pen, a card, and a piece of candy. This first slime is Mermaid's Tail. It's a fishbowl slime, six ounces for $10.99. This is a clear slime with fishbowl beads. On the website, there's very little information about this slime. I think it's probably because she doesn't make this slime, but she does sell it in her slime shop. I love the look to this slime. The fishbowl beads are beautiful colors. It has some added glitter. I'm not real sure what the scent of the slime is, but it does kind of smell like cheap perfume, and it is a pretty strong scent. It does make some good ASMR, and it is clicky. Since this is a clear slime, it is pretty sticky, even after lots of activator. This next slime is made by Nicole Jacklin, and it's Cheetos Slime. This is a crunchy slime, 6 ounces for $14.99. The color and texture are very realistic but it kind of looks like mashed up Cheetos. It came with some colored sprinkles and this little bag of Cheetos charm, so cute. It's not a super strong scent, but it does smell a little bit like Cheetos. It's very stretchy and very soft. It's good for pops, bubble pops, and great for ASMR. This next thing is something that I thought of to test for the stickiness of slime. It's called the stick test. All I'm doing is placing my hand down in the slime and pulling up to see how sticky it is and how hard it is to get off my hand. As you can see, this slime is pretty sticky. It did stick to my hands and it was a little difficult to peel off. So I gave it a 7. A 10 would be the stickiest. The last slime is Glow in the Dark Axolotl Slime. It's a clear thick slime, 6 ounces for $14.99. It's a beautiful neon green and scented like blue raspberry. I actually like the scent of this one. It comes with this cute little Glow in the Dark Axolotl. This slime was clicky, great for bubble pops. It was stretchy, it's just you had to put a little more effort into stretching it. When I was playing with this slime, I did notice that pieces of it would go flying everywhere. So it is a little bit messy. It's a clear slime, so of course it's going to be sticky. I did put a lot of activator in it. On the stick test, I gave it a 6.8. I got this slime because I wanted to see what a glow-in-the-dark slime looked like. So I did test it, but I didn't do it correctly. You're supposed to put it by the sun or near a black light. Sorry about the video quality. My phone really doesn't record well in the dark. See y'all slimers later.